There is a race right now to make football and all contact sports safer, and we've seen some changes here in New Mexico. Action 7 News anchor Todd Kurt shows us a possible breakthrough in concussion prevention from our neighbors to the east. These binoculars could be the next game changer in the fight against football concussions. The creator, Dr. Robert Ranneker, shows us how it works. We're measuring pupils and how the, the eyes move, how fast they move, how fast they react to light, and how fast the pupils constrict and dilate. And that tells us about brain function because the brain is controlling those movements. Now think of it like how you see trainers using their finger to give the eye test. Though this is using state-of-the-art technology in recording the eye move in a way a trainer never could. The test is short, a minute if that. Players will take the test many times before while they're feeling well. And after a big hit, the machine compares the readings and shows that the brain is responding slower. Basically a headband like this. You put it on so you can see it. And how do you know if someone should take the eye test? Dr. Reniker also uses an accelerometer. If an athlete takes a big hit, this thing flashes red or sends a signal to the trainer. You need to be able to monitor all the players or athletes on the field at one time so you know who to check. Preventing concussions is a big topic locally. High school players have a strict time limit for contact and practice. Sandia High even ordered these extra helmet pads. And a local dentist donated expensive mouth guards for all players on three Albuquerque teams. She even brought the players to her office so she could fit them herself. They not only protect their teeth, they also protect some way their brain. Despite all of this, concussions are still going to happen. The key right now is to make this game safer. Todd Kurtz, KOAT, Action 7 News. Reniker says the binoculars you saw are still in the research phase. He's hoping some New Mexico high schools will want to take part. And with football season here, many families are heading to high school and college.